It was 3 p.m. on a warm, humid spring day when my friends and I decided to go to our secret hangout spot to watch the solar eclipse. It was a burned down, abandoned factory that has since been long forgotten. The tragic incident happened decades ago, even before we were born. Our hangout spot was secluded, surrounded by tall trees and a small creek that ran behind the factory. We walked on a dirt path riddled with sheets of metal and shards of glass. The factory has boarded up windows and was decorated with graffiti. It was run down and a little scary, but the abandoned factory was our escape from the world when we needed a break from it. We made our way to the side of the factory, climbing a sketchy old rusty ladder to get to the roof. We thought it would be the prime opportunity to watch the solar eclipse from there. Bruh, did you forget the chairs? Forget? Why would I forget? We don't need them. Dude, I specifically asked you to bring them because I wanted to relax and watch the solar eclipse. You'll be fine. Besides, I brought your favorite beer. A little slight six pack. <laughs> fine. You just bought your way out of trouble. Lighten up. Alex, you want a beer? Nah. Thank you, though. Oh, all right, more for us. I was slightly annoyed that he didn't bring the chairs, but it wasn't a big deal. My friends and I talked about our classes and what we want to do after college. Max wants to be an accountant, and Alex, a psychiatrist. I'm not sure if I'd ever trust Max with my taxes since he can't remember to bring chairs. We decided to pass a little time by goofing around. We started having a rock war on the roof, taking cover behind vents and large sheets of metal. Then Max proposed a dare. Jim, I dare you to look at the solar eclipse without your glasses. I don't think that's a good idea. He could go blind. And what do I get in return? Oh my gosh. I will get you another six pack, bro. And hear me out. I'll talk to that girl for you. I know she had a fat crush on you, and you're too scared to talk to her. And what if he goes blind? He'll be alright, as long as he looks at it while the moon is covering the sun. Deal. Hell yeah! You will not regret this, bro. <sighs> Guys are idiots. The sky was getting darker and the temperature started to drop as the moon moved in front of the sun. We pulled out our solar eclipse glasses to witness the beautiful once in a lifetime moment. Just as the moon moved in front of the sun, I could hear fireworks go off in the distance and my friends cheering on in excitement. Hesitating, I take off my solar eclipse glasses. I close my eyes and point my head up at the sky. What's the worst that can go wrong? I think to myself. I open my eyes and look at the solar eclipse. Looking at the eclipse didn't hurt my eyes. As I watched the eclipse, I noticed the temperature drop significantly. It was freezing cold. I could see goosebumps form on my skin. I could see my breath in the air. That's how cold it was. I could smell something as if it was burning. Like, like a bonfire. I turned to my friends. Guys, I did it. I looked at the eclipse. That's when I noticed there was someone standing next to my friends. As I looked behind me, I recoiled in fear. I could see more people watching the solar eclipse. Except, they weren't people. They looked like spirits. Spirits of the undead. The spirits were dressed in factory clothes. Their faces, some burned and some decayed. Most had burned skin and some missing limbs. Their eyes were glowing red with malice. I looked at my friends. They were still staring at the eclipse. Guys, are, are you seeing this? What, this awesome eclipse? Yeah, bruh, this is cool. I'm surprised you can see. Have you been looking at the eclipse without your glasses? Not that, the, the people behind us. As they take off their eclipse glasses and look behind, they see that no one is there. 
What are you talking about? I don't see anyone. Are you hallucinating? I told you not to look at the eclipse without your glasses. I point in the direction of one of the spirits. There's someone standing right there. You can't see them? Dude, you're crazy. They dismiss my worries and put on their glasses to watch the eclipse again. As I turn my attention away from my friends, I look back at the spirits and I'm met with glowing red eyes staring back at me. Can they see me? I think to myself. The spirits look furious, as if they were mad that I could see them. Then suddenly, they start to conjugate towards me. They reach their hands towards me as they advance, or start to move back. I could hear them in a quiet tone saying, Eyes. Eyes? Do they want my eyes? I think to myself. I backed up towards the edge of the roof. As they closed in on me, they started saying, Eyes, louder and louder. I could smell their rotten and decayed flesh. It was putrid. It was so strong that it almost made me vomit. I start to panic as I realized that I'm cornered and I have nowhere to run. I called out to my friends. Help! Help, they're trying to take my eyes! My friends ignore me. The spirits reach out for my face. I try to fight back, but once they get close enough to reach me, I throw a punch. Nothing. My hands go right through the spirit's torso. The spirits grab me and throw me to the freezing cold roof, one by one grabbing my arms and legs, pinning me to the ground. I try to fight back, but every time I struggle, more and more spirits hold me down. I scream in horror as I realize the danger that I'm in. I started pleading to the spirits to let me keep my eyes, but the spirits ignore my pleas. The spirits start reaching for my eyes, almost fighting over them. Please! Please! No! The spirits start pulling out my eyes. I scream in pain as I can feel each optic nerve getting ripped out of my eye sockets. I start screaming and crying, pleading for them to stop. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The solar eclipse is now over. I loved it. It was such an invigorating experience. Whoa, Jim, you good? My friends walk over to where I lay. I'm still crying and now flaying my arms like a lunatic. What happened to your eyes? Your eyes are cloudy and white. I try to open my eyes. I'm blind. I can't see. I told you you'd go blind. N no. The spirits ripped out my eyes. To this day, no one believes me on how I lost my eyesight. They all believe I was dumb enough to stare at the sun during the eclipse. Every day, I am haunted by the spirits that took my eyes and made me blind.